G'day guys. So this is just a quick tutorial down dirty on what is ultimately I think the easiest coin to mine on GPUs at the moment. When I say easiest, I don't mean in terms of algorithm, I just mean technically the easiest. Um, and it's literally a couple of clicks. It's called Vertcoin. Now, for those that have seen some of my other videos, you'll know um, I used to mine, I used to mine a lot. Um, got out of it for a bunch of different reasons, work related more than anything else and a lot of moving. Um, but recently a friend of mine asked me how they'd get into mining and what sort of stuff. So rather than, um, you know, make something for them and then not share it, I decided to make a couple of videos so you, I can share it with uh, other guys out there. Now note, there's no affiliate links to this one. So this is just something that I've found myself. Uh, it's incredibly simple to set up and use. Uh, so I figured for those that are gamers, but not hugely technically savvy with, with a lot of this stuff, this could be a good one to consider. All right, I'll, I'll take you guys through firstly the setup of this, um, and then I'll talk about, um, you know, some of the other aspects to it. All right, so the link for this site uh, and for Vertcoin is down below. Um, I like to include links for a lot of these things to make sure that you don't go to the wrong stuff and end up um, at a malicious website uh, trying to um, gain your info and that sort of stuff. So, all right, so at uh, Vertcoin, click the link below, this will bring it up. Uh, from here, it is really, really, really simple. You just hit the mining setup page uh, and you'll notice here they have a GitHub link. Just head straight across to that. Uh, and then, you know, click on whatever the latest one is and then download for your system. Most likely, obviously, it's going to be Windows. So in here, noting that this one's a beta version, but that's okay. Once you've got it, either download the EXE or download the zip and um, put it in a folder somewhere on your computer. Uh, and then the uh, really hard bit to this, you open her up. Now, on your first opening of this, it's going to ask you to set up a password, which will, um, I guess, lock what's the built-in wallet for this uh, program. Um, and literally, that's it. Like I said, it'll take a bit longer your first time around. This one's really quick because I've uh, run it before, just testing that the setup works and that sort of stuff. Um, and this is what you get. Now, note, I'm running a uh, TI um, 1080 Ti. Uh, sorry, GTX 1080 Ti. So she's a little bit older. Um, and I'm also, at the moment, obviously running capture stuff and a webcam and a bunch of stuff. So this is lower than what my system will normally produce. Normally it produces about one VTC per day. Uh, that's in my testing uh, this morning. So when you come, a look, come across, have a look at its current price at about $1.44, um, it is still profitable at, this, at the moment, but just. Um, noting, obviously, uh, Ethereum is going to be, for GPU miners out there, the most profitable thing at the moment. Um, but with the upcoming uh, new ASIC miners coming in for Ethereum, uh, the E9, which is an absolute beast if you uh, look at all the specs on it, um, <laughs> It is not a bad idea if this is something you're into to start consider alternatives uh, to Ethereum and Ethereum hashing. Um, some other bits to this, if you want to change the pool that you're running into, because different pools will have different uh, fees, just come along to this back page uh, and there's a list of the different pools that are set up for this stuff. Pick your pool, save and reset, and then off you go. Um, if you want to send coins out of it, uh, which I recommend. I don't ever recommend keeping stuff in um, either mining pools or mining software and stuff like that. Uh, just come across this send and uh, set yourself up a, um, a wallet for this uh, coin and then transfer it across to that. Uh, there are a couple of uh, reputable exchanges that use Vertcoin. Um, so also factor that in. Like It's not like your Dogecoin, which pretty much everywhere accepts. Um, so that should be one of the bits that you're factoring in when, you, when you're deciding whether this is the right thing for you to mind. Anyway, guys, 
Um, I hope this helps uh, for some of you out there that are thinking, what do I do with my rig? It's on all the time anyway. Um, you can run this in the background as you're doing other stuff. So as, as you saw before, I'm still running, um, you know, capture, webcam and a bunch of other stuff and it's still providing a usable rate. Uh, conversely, if I'm running an Ethereum hash on this computer, uh, capture is just an absolute no go. Um, she starts bugging out and stuff like that. So you're still able to say, you know, take time off from uh, gaming and you're writing an essay or something like that or doing some work stuff on the computer, you can run this in the background and that's probably a, a fair mining dash use case for it. So you're increasing your power draw a little bit, uh, but not a huge amount. Uh, one of the other things I'll, I'll always try and put out there whenever I talk about mining stuff uh, is there always, always the risk to your equipment when you're mining. Uh, so that's something you've got to figure it out, uh, figure out for yourself and figure out whether that risk is worth it for you. Um, like I said, I don't at the moment because of some work stuff. Um, but if it wasn't for that, I probably would. But I'm also got an old GPU. So if she blows up, I'm not overly fussed. Uh, I'd more so be concerned about the fact that you know, I can't play games until somewhere I find a reasonably priced uh, uh, 30 series or 20, or 20 series. All right, guys, as always, um, if you like this video, throw us a thumbs up. If you've got any other points you want in the crypto space, especially mining, for me to cover, let us know. Chuck a comment below. Um, but otherwise, have yourselves an absolutely amazing day.